If your website has a site search feature, Google Analytics 4 can track what keywords are your visitors entering there. In this video, I will explain how to build a site search report in Google Analytics 4. If you have a site search feature on your website, just like here, Google Analytics can track that automatically and it will track an event called view search results. Together with that event, Google Analytics 4 will also track a parameter called search term. So in this video, I will show you two ways how to see the search term data in a report. However, not on all websites, Google Analytics will be able to track site search automatically. So if it does not work for you, then take a look at my blog post about site search tracking, where I will list some other alternatives as well. So let's go to a Google Analytics 4 property. First of all, you need to have at least some view search results events tracked, otherwise you won't see that data. Now let's take a look at the first option. So first of all, you can go to reports, then library, and let's create a new report. Then click create new report, create detail report, and click blank. Here, click dimensions and add search term. Then click apply, and then click metrics. Here you can select metrics such as event count. You can also select event count per user, and then total users will also work. Click apply. And here you will see the keywords that people entered in your site search. Right now, unfortunately, there is no way to filter out the empty row right here because this is showing the data of all other events which are not view search results. But when you're watching this video, maybe in the future Google Analytics will add this. So you can check this by going to add filter and then check if event name is available as a dimension right here. If yes, then you could include only those events where event name is exactly view search results, all lowercase with underscore. But right now, I don't have this feature, therefore, I will just have to accept that the first row is empty and it includes all other events which are not related to site search. So once you have done this, you can also hide certain charts, for example, I don't think that bar chart for me is useful, so I can hide that. If you don't find this chart valuable as well, you can disable the line chart and then click save and name this report. We can name this site search and click save. When you see the success message, go back and then edit the collection of reports where you want to include this particular site search report because then it will become available on the sidebar. So in my case, I have lifecycle collection, so I can move here and find lifecycle and edit collection. You might see business objectives on the sidebar, so then you could edit this collection. So I will click here and then I will find that site search report and I can drag it, for example, to engagement. Maybe here, or I can move it here, for example, and click save. Then click back and here in the engagement, I will now see the site search report. I can click it and I can see the data. The second option is to build a free form exploration report. So you can click explore, then blank, and then click plus in dimensions, select event name like this, then search term like this, and then click import, then metrics. Here we can select the same metrics as we did before, which is event count, then event count per user, and then total users. Select this and import. Now you can double click on the search term and it will be added right here. And then you can double click all metrics so that they would be added right here in the values section. In my case, the report does not show any data because it's a demo property. And in this particular time period, I don't have any site search data, but I could go back, let's say here, click apply. And here I can see that information. As you can see, we also have this empty row right here, but in explorations, we can filter out all the other events and we will leave only view search results. We can do that by clicking on filters, then event name exactly matches view search results and click apply. And now the empty row is gone. And that's how you can build a site search report in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. 
Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.